bring it forth in the flesh. How are each of you working to fructify the Dark One? Report! Astrology and tarot card sales are pulling more and more young people into the Dark One's domain. World politics are steadily progressing toward our one world government, naturally with our agents in place. I am excited to announce that this year more people have decided to be homosexuals than ever before in history. Role-playing games are the perfect gateway to embracing Satan and have spread far and wide across the land. If we can corrupt just a few more souls at this college, then the stars will be right. And, and when, when the, the stars, stars are right, right, he will awaken and revel across the world. So we saw Dark Dungeons the other day, and it was pretty amazing, and now I have the opportunity to talk to Gabriel Gonda and J.R. Rolls, the writer and director of the film. Please uh, tell us a little bit about it, uh, because I don't think anybody wants to hear me gush about it any more than I already have. Well, uh, Dark Dungeons the movie is based upon Dark Dungeons the graphic novel by Jack T. Chick. It was written in 1984, and it's all about the evils of role-playing games. In the comic, we learn that uh, role-playing games can give you real-life magical powers, and uh, that uh, if you reach level 8, you're invited to join a witch's coven. Uh, all these things are brought to life in Dark Dungeons the movie, which we tried our best to be a faithful adaptation of the source material. Yeah. What's an RPG? You don't need to know. Some people have asked if it's a parody it is not. Or, or a spoof, which, um, and we were all in agreement, you know, yeah. from the beginning of, of uh, JR writing the script, that it had to be done 100% faithful and uh, just a straight adaptation With of the With utmost comic. sincerity, that was the watchword. This has to be a sincere effort at adapting this comic. Marcy, you are no longer Marcy. Instead, you are Blackleaf. The thief who is to the night as the day is to the shadow. The shadow? The shadow? The shadow. No parody, no satire. I have heard the word irony kicked around them. Well, that is for the audience to judge. I yes, guess that is for yeah. the audience to judge. Every audience views things differently. You know, uh, I definitely think certain audiences will appreciate this work on multiple levels. There is a little something there for everybody who might be interested. Yes. Yeah, and uh, the response here at uh, Gen Con from the gamers has been great. It's been, it's turned out to be very popular. It is, it is. Uh, you know, this is the crowd we were trying to reach with the message of Dark Dungeons, and I can say that Gen Con understood the message of Dark Dungeons. Let the games begin, and may your roles be ever natural. Would you guys like to briefly tell me how this movie came about? Well, it started when I won the lottery. Uh, so I wrote Jack Chick and uh, said I want to use my lottery winnings as well as whatever money I can raise uh, to make Dark Dungeons. And he gave me the rights to Dark Dungeons for free. So, no money from Dark Dungeons the movie is going to Jack Chick. And, as a result of getting those rights for free, I. Uh, Posted my Kickstarter, was successful. Teamed up with Zombie Orpheus, who found this awesome director in Gabe Gonda, and uh, we had a blast shooting it. Yeah, it was uh, definitely the most challenging, rewarding, fun, and frankly strange project I've ever worked on. Your cleric has been raised to the eighth level. I think it's time you really learn to cast spells. You mean you're going to teach me how to have the real power? 
You have the personality for it now. Your intense occult training through RPGs has prepared you for it. Done. It, uh, it came out really well. Um, speaking of, do you want to tell us a little bit about the directing process in this? Well, uh... I, I, want, I wanted it to be just, you know, like a movie that Jack Chip would make. And I wanted it to be reminiscent of other films in the genre. Um, other uh, sort of, say, religiously themed yes. films. Yeah. Um, and so that was a, a guiding principle for a lot of the, you know, directorial interpretation. Uh, one, of, one of the challenges was um, for the actors to say the lines that Jack Chick wrote, and in addition to ones that uh, JR uh, added, you know, because we had to expand Obviously, the story, it's yeah. very short. Only what, 12? So, so, 22 panels. 22 panels. Yes. The, the actors were, they had a lot of questions for me on how to say some of these sentences that uh, are, are not it's typically how people write. talk. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, there's a difference between writing something and saying something. And Absolutely. stuff that works on the page can be a little more different. Yeah. Than so, so what we arrived at was that it was a form of heightened language. Like if we were to imagine that this was uh, Shakespearean, if you will. Yeah. Or, or like uh, in a fantasy setting, in another realm where people actually talk this way. So uh, that was that was how we sort of worked through that particular issue. It definitely feels like a movie that Jack Chick would make. So Thank that is you. a roaring success, and I mean that in a good way. I want to say that. Well, that's what we wanted. Yeah, so yeah. that is a success. The whole, all throughout the movie, we would whip out the comic and ask ourselves, what would Jack Chick do? Elfstar possesses the real power, Debbie does not. If you cease to be Elfstar, all of your powers will disappear. Do you guys have any additional projects, new uh, stuff coming out that you want to talk about? I have a new project. It's going to be uh, announced September 16th, and I think it's going to be a very interesting product that many of your readers will be fascinated with. Okay. So uh, we'll talk then. All right. So people need to keep their eyes out. Yes. Can't know just yet, but they will know in the future. Yes, they will. That is great. Well, thanks so much for taking the time Thank to you. talk with us. It was a great movie, and everybody thanks. should go check out Dark Dungeons. Where can they find that right They now? can find it at www.darkdungeonsthemovie.com. Miss Frost, I can't get Marcy out of my mind. How could she do something like this? If I'd left the game, she'd still be alive today. Get your priorities straight, Debbie. Your spiritual growth through the game is more important than some lousy loser's life. It would have happened sooner or later. Her character was too weak. All she was good for was reading the Necronomicon and summoning Cthulhu. But I thought the Necronomicon and Cthulhu were just fictional. Oh no, Debbie. The Necronomicon and Cthulhu mythos are all too real. Okay, I'm super excited because Monty Cook just told us we could have a quick interview with him. I'm standing next to Monty Cook right now, and that's kind of awesome because um, we're a little bit farther back in the gaming, so we still kind of remember when there were celebrity game designers, like uh, when Steve Jackson, Kevin Sambita, and Gary Gygax, and Dave Arneson, when that was still big, and that just completely vanished one day. That just didn't stop, and I honestly feel like you kind of brought that back. To wow. some extent, there's wow. like all of a sudden everybody's talking about this rock star game designer, <laughs> and uh, that was super cool for us annoying grog nerds. I, I think rock star game designer is an oxymoron. I'll stand by it. <laughs> so your most uh, recent U project is Numenera, if I'm correct. Uh, well, the most recent one is actually The Strange. Oh, yeah. Well, would you tell us a little bit about that. Uh, uh, Strange just came out at Gen Con this, so two days ago, three days ago. And uh, The Strange uses the same uh, game system as Numenera, um, but it is uh, set on Earth. And the idea is, is that there is this otherworldly realm called The Strange that not very many people know exists, okay. but the fiction from our world sort of leaks into The Strange and it becomes real. And oh. It creates these places called recursions, and so you might have a Wizard of Oz recursion or you know a World of Warcraft recursion or you know anything right Star Wars and anything you want to dream up um, could be in the strange as its own weird little world that you could travel to that is amazing actually that's uh, I had uh, I had been reading about it and it, it completely misinterpreted that and okay. that's way cooler than anything that I had come up <laughs> that I had had in my brain ahead of time so I'm at uh, wow 
Wow, that is super cool. And uh, okay, I'm sorry. I started with Numenera. No, that's I didn't. cool. I, uh, that's... Numenera came out a year ago. Uh, we're still really excited about it. Um, we just won uh, ten Any Awards on Friday night for Numenera. So uh, yeah, we're very happy. Tell us a little bit about that one. Else. Sure, Numenera uh, is uh, well. The game system itself is is meant to be very uh, easy to play, very story focused, um, very focused on the game master being able to be a storyteller. Most of the mechanics are actually in the hands of the players. Uh, the players roll all the dice, for example. Um, so the, the Game Master just focuses on what would be cool in the story. Uh, but Numenera is set a, a billion years in the future, and uh, the whole thing kind of is centered around a quote from Arthur C. Clarke, which is, uh, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. So, a billion years in the future, all these civilizations have risen and fallen. Now a new civilization is rising up, but the, the remnants of all the past is all around them. And to them, this, these fantastic, you know, ruins of filled with weird machinery and devices, that's all magic. That is actually also amazing. Um, that one I actually did know what it was, and uh, for the people who are usually viewing us, definitely review coming on that. We have already written the script, already blocked the skits. Um, <laughs> And we did just pick up a copy of The Strange, cool. so we will know more about it. Awesome. And I won't have the wrong idea in my head. No, that's all right. That's why I let, uh, let, let you uh, explain it. And cool. I'm glad I did. <laughs> um, all right, well, I want to thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, before we go, do you want to tell everybody where they can get these awesome, awesome products? Uh, well, you know, you can obviously go to your local game store, but uh, if that doesn't work out, go to montycookgames.com. You can get all of our stuff there.